From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night on LA Light. As the unemployment numbers were released, and it was a shocker. Did they go the higher or did they go lower? Meantime, on the Kohl's earnings report, major corporate earnings released today, and they were shocking as well. Some beats and some misses. What do you need to know? How the latest details tonight across the board. And then the narrative coming in from the home builders. Not good. Housing recession continues to proliferate. But great news for your rentees of your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. And we'll have the latest details on how much your benefits are going up. And of course, the news that made headlines on this channel last weekend. Seven new stimulus checks became law, passed by Congress last weekend. On top of that lifetime stimulus, on top of those three stimulus checks, we've been getting since the month of March. Of course, the most checks in every U.S. state. We'll have the latest details tonight across the land. Plus, we'll be looking at the manufacturing data that came in today, potentially interesting, showing a pivot across the board, the latest details for the Federal Reserve, and also the latest details on what's going on with your money. Recession, inflation, student loan debt for the game is a major announcement as well. Boy, there's a lot going on tonight. And yet the lobster shorts are a little too busy. You just wear them as like, they're a little too busy, that fabric. We'll go over the latest details you need to know tonight. We'll go over those now 10 categories of stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The lifetime lift of your benefits, lifetime stimulus. We'll be going over recession, inflation, and the latest details from everything from gasoline to the milk and eggs. We'll go over the housing data and the housing recession. The earnings recession or the earnings pivot, what you need to know. And also, we'll be going over why the situation is getting very problematic for stock traders that said the Federal Reserve is going to do one interest rate spike and call it quits. Not looking particularly good for that analysis across the land. Plus, we'll be looking at why that student loan debt forgiveness may get rolled over to the fall. It's a major recording for to you tonight. And also the impact on that falling gasoline prices at the pump. Big news as 10 stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Big news as big money heats up. And the big news starts right now, this evening, as Evenings LA gets underway. And good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful night for August 18, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. As 10 stimulus checks have now become a law on top of that lifetime stimulus. We'll go over the latest details tonight and why you want to get it, because that earnings recession hit with a major miss for Kohl's department store. What do you need to know? We'll have the latest breaking. Then when we look at those labor numbers, did they go higher or lower? Surprise on that front tonight. We'll be looking at that jobless claims number, and then we'll be jumping to the home. Home Builders. Home Builders got a major number today, and where was it? Plus, we'll be looking at CPI print and why the retail sales numbers were relatively flat yesterday. And it's a big broadcast. We got a lot of money to go over from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Your economy, your recession, your unemployment, your inflation and benefit raises, the latest details from housing and also unemployment heat up right now, including your fourth stimulus, the breaking news. On a big, bold, beautiful night of Evenings LA, how are you? Hope you're having a beautiful night tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's August 18th, 2022. The breaking news that we start tonight, of course, with is the labor number. Real surprise. The unemployment claims for the week ending last week were released before sunrise. Featured this morning on Mornings LA. And for the first time in several months, I got it wrong. I had said that the unemployment claims were going to go higher. From 260 last week to 265 was my projection. I got it wrong. What's the latest details tonight? Let's go over where this number has been, and let's go over where the number is tonight. Those jobless claims signal a pivot for this economy. But is the pivot short-felt 
or is it just for one night tonight? The latest details on the labor numbers today were a surprise. Jobless claims came in at 250,000 for the week ending August 13th, down 2,000 from the prior week at 260. Again, this is the second highest number of 2022, so nothing to celebrate across the board. Continued jobless claims are tracking at 1.43 million, an increase of 7,000. And this is not a particularly good number to celebrate across the board. So for tonight, we're at 250. But that's just really the second highest number of 2022. Then we have the FOMC minute notes from the Federal Reserve week last night after the close of the markets. And the Federal Reserve says that they've seen a softening outlook for the labor market. Whoa, we'll have more about that in a second. Another major story that broke before sunrise today was the manufacturing report. It shows how much manufacturing is happening. Not for lobster shorts. <laughs> <laughs> not for lobster shorts, not for San Francisco hairstyles or $12 ice cream either. But that, <laughs> that latest manufacturing report for the month of July was a negative number, 12.3, and the number released this morning was a positive number, 6.2%, showing that manufacturing is not heading to a slowdown. Good news on that front. But when you jump over to the earnings calls and the earnings announcements today, mixed bag, and it continues a week in which the retail sales has potentially not been good. The earnings recession started in the month of May when Target guided down May and then guided down in June and then yesterday missed dramatically. It continued today with another retailer, and who was that retailer that had big problems today on that earnings front? Kohl's Department Store. Kohl's Department Store is now seeing net sales fall 5 to 6% for fiscal 2022. And they slashed year-end guidance across the board. Sales fell 8.1% year-to-date, and same-source sales are down 7.7%. Kohl's was among companies reporting earnings today, but a lot had major beats. BJ's Wholesale, which is basically a discount wholesale like a Costco, beat top and bottom. Also beating Tapestry, missing Estee Lauder, beating Bed and Bath Works, and beating Cisco. Yesterday we had Target and it was a bloodbath. They had guided down in the month of May, then guided down in the month of June, and then they reported corporate earnings yesterday, August 17th, and they missed. They missed. And their mortgage rate, their mortgage, their mar mar margin rates surge and their stock fell 2%. If we hadn't dealt with excess inventory, we'd have had that problem. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with those comments from their CEO or chief financial officer, Michael Fickahol. It basically said that they're missing on guidance downward day after day, week after week. And the retail sales numbers yesterday were not indicative of Target at all. Retail sales were relatively flat for the month of July. This is big news for your inflation and your benefits. Why is this big news for your inflation and benefits? Because basically we're looking and seeing whether your benefits are going up a lot or not. The details of that we're going to get to in one second. The other major story that hit this morning was more data from housing. More data from housing came in weaker than expected. Housing has been hit by a housing recession. We've had data on this all this summer long. It started last month when the housing data was weak left and right. They had the existing home sales down in the month of July. We had new home sales down. We had builder confidence down in the month of July. And then what happened on the housing data this week and tonight? No much better. What happened today? We had the previously owned home sales, existing home sales numbers released for the month of July today, and it was down 6% compared to the month of June. So not tracking higher from the National Association of Realtors. Sales dropped 20% compared to year to date. Oh boy, that is not good. And then when you look at the individual markets, high-end market, low-end market, they're all struggling left and right. Lawrence Young, chief in, in economist for Realtors, says in terms of the economic environment, we are in a housing recession. And homeowners are still in a recession, not necessarily because they're comfortably financially. But when you look at the prices of homes are falling, the inventory is increasing, and the builders are simply not building. Builders are not building, says Lawrence Young. Does the comments by Young, does the data from the housing industry today mirror that from yesterday and the day before? It does. 
Yesterday for August 17th, we had the home builders cancellation rate, the largest we've seen of this year, nearly double compared to the month of April. What is this? This is when people buy a home, they put when they start to buy a home, they put a home in a contract. And they're about to close the contract, and then they get buyer's remorse. They say, the mortgage rate is too high. I don't like the economic environment. I'll pull out of the contract. So the contract cancellations are out of control. They're out of control. 8% uh, in the month of April, 7.5% in the month of July. They're now doubled during that period of time. And the worst casualties of Texas, 25% ca- cancelizations. And Southwest uh, United States, which includes California, 27% cancellations out of control. Then the day before that was August 15th when the housing recession was announced by the National Association of Home Builders, Wells Fargo Housing Market Index. Tighter monetary policy from the Federal Reserve and persistent elevated construction costs have brought on a housing recession. That was a comment by National Association economist Robert Dietz that night. What do you need to know for your money? Ultimately, this data indicates that inflation is not pulling back and inflation is tracking higher. This is big news for your benefits tonight. And the details for that inflation is that inflation is not particularly backed off at all and that ultimately your benefits could be going up a lot. Let's go to the calculation of your benefit raise. And this, of course, is lifetime stimulus, which can start with that detail starting right now. First, you need to understand where inflation is and where has inflation been. Inflation tracked higher in the month of July when the CPI beat, the PPI beat, and the retail sales beat. Last last week, the CPI was flat, the PPI was flat, and the retail sales last night was relatively flat as well. Let's go over the specifics of the details starting right now. The Consumer Price Index, which gauges how much you pay for in the supermarket, like the milk and eggs, went up a lot in the month of May. How much? 8.6%. Then, in the month of June, it went even higher, 9.1% thereafter. And we were waiting to see that July number this last August 10th, the last week. And what happened? The number was basically flat, meaning your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over the equation, and then we'll go over the analysis. Your benefits are going to go a lot, up a lot based upon these events. Why? Because inflation ties to your benefits. And you could see potentially a $5,000 Lift of your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rural benefits, and veterans' benefits. Direct deposit in the mail, yes. Let's go over all the details starting right now. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment. And it's determined by another number, the CPI-W, a subsection of the CPI. That number was released last week, and we knew back in May, when the CPI was really heating up and going high, 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 that we need to see if this inflation stays the same or go higher, because if it does, your benefits are going to go up a lot. Well, it went higher from May to June, and then we need to see the July number last week, August 10th, and it came in basically flat. Great news. So that CPI-W for July released last week, August released on September 10th, and then September release, October 10th, will show us how much your benefits go up. But at the moment, they're going up a lot because inflation has basically flattened out. Let's go over the details starting right now. When you look at the headline number, the total number that CPI, the headline, the marquee number, it pulled down a little bit, about a half a percentage point. But when you look at the core parts of that number, they're still actually going up month to month. The headline number pulled down about half a percentage point because gasoline pulled down a little bit in the month of June and July. But when you look at the component parts, they're actually going up month to month. The consumer products in the stores, milk and eggs, going up month to month. The wages going up. The rent going up, which is 30% of the CPI. And then when you look at the other components of the CPI, all going up month to month. So is there any indication that the CPI would actually go lower this month? Not at all. No indication whatsoever. So with that, we're looking really good. If inflation stays where it is right now for this month and the next month, then your benefits go up a lot. All right, now let's go over the calculation. We need to see inflation staying where it is, and if that's the case, then your benefits go up. How do they go up? Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say, for example, your benefits go up 10% this year. That means you'll go up a lifetime stimulus of 10%. And this is incredible great news because your benefits are being tied to inflation and this is lifetime stimulus you're seeing on this channel tonight. 
This lifetime raise is dependent upon last month's data released last week, this month's data released on September 10th, and September's data released on October 10th. But what do you and I need to know? You and I basically need to know the calculation of this. So, direct deposit, yes. Otherwise in the mail, yes. Do you have to do anything? No. You, yes. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, and multiple benefits. If you're not on benefits and you're about to go on benefits, that's you as well. 5,000, no, some of you more, some of you less. Same percentage raise, absolutely. Is this the only lift you're gonna get? No, you'll get this lift. And then next year, if inflation is a positive number, let's say 2%, you'll get another percentage lift on top of that. And every year thereafter, whatever, something like that happens again. So basically, how do you gauge this? You watch this channel, and you and I watch what's going on in the marketplace. We look at the milk and eggs in the store, same price, going higher, inflation's going higher. Salaries, rent going higher or staying the same, inflation's staying the same or going higher. And then we look at that personal consumption expenditure index released in a few days. We look in the next CPI, we look in the next BPI, and we look at the housing data, like tonight's broadcast, because that is a big gauge of inflation. Now, the other major story that broke over Sunday's broadcast on a primetime special report at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time last Sunday was the breaking news of lifetime stimulus checks being added with seven new stimulus checks. Yes, Congress last weekend passed seven categories of new stimulus checks, which now brings it to a grand total of 10 categories of four stimulus checks. These incredible great news. Let's go over the details of these seven new categories of four stimulus checks. Back in the month of March, viewers asked me to find stimulus checks. We'll go over those in a second. Those are checks A, B, and C. But these seven new categories of checks are on top of those. And these huge checks are astronomical. And you should be ecstatic. These huge seven categories of checks are big sums of money. And they are in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, starting last this last Monday and every night thereafter. Check E, $7,500. Check F, $4,000. Check G, 30%. Check H, $2,000. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. How do you get these incredible checks? They're in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is why you want to become a member. If you've not become a member, go on this video right tonight and become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Go right on this video and join the channel because all these incredible checks are featured in the membership newsletter. From check A all the way to check K. And when more checks become available, they are featured across the board. One of the benefits of becoming a member is, of course, the newsletter. Delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. And in that membership newsletter is also the incredible worksheets. People are loving the worksheets, and tonight you meet another success story for persons who got money from, those work, from using those incredible worksheets. Let's first go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state so you understand the check A, B, and C, and they're coming up in the big second half. They started in this channel back in March that predate those seven new checks that became law last weekend. Check A, B, and C. What are they? What? How do they happen? What's at issue? Let's go over everything you need to know starting right now. These incredible checks are huge. About $100,000, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. Done by the President of the United States, by executive action, it's federal stimulus in every U.S. state. Paid by the federal government, not paid by the states. And you want to go get it. And how do you get it? You become a member. In the second half, we're going to go over these individual checks, A, B, and C, in detail. Go get it. Rent, own, on benefits, not on benefits. We'll go over those incredible checks in the, the big second half. One of the great benefits of the membership is, of course, the newsletter. And in that newsletter, down at the third line, is the worksheets. Again, where in the newsletter? Down around the third line of the newsletter is the worksheets. That's the price of corn, wheat, and the gasoline tonight. It says worksheets. And what are the worksheets? <laughs> These are the worksheets. These incredible worksheets are a PDF, a page, a series of pages, about eight pages in length. And let's go over the latest details of that PDF tonight and what we know that's breaking news and the big success stories on checks as well. Page one, inflation, what do we know tonight? Tonight we know that inflation has 
not potentially come down dramatically. And it's still tracking at a headline number of 8.5%. And the Federal Reserve in those FOMC meeting notes says we need to get it to 2%. So they can continue to interest rates spike until they get it down to 2%. There's a long way from 8.5%. We'll have more about that in the second half of this recording. Recession. We know we're in a recession. We know that that housing recession is very pronounced tonight, as announced by the National Association of Home Builders. We'll go over the housing recession and the economic recession more in the second half of this recording. Labor. The jobless claim is pulling back a little bit. 250, but not dramatically. Second highest number of 2022. These are new jobless claims. And the Federal Reserve, in the big second half, I'll go over why I'm projecting the Federal Reserve will do 75 basis point interest rate spike and that September FOMC meeting and every meeting through December. And why the lack of Wall Street analysts to embed that risk into the market is big trouble for everyone else. I'll explain that detail in the big second half. The second page of the worksheet is the one that is delivering a big success for viewers. Last weekend, on Saturday, when viewers sent me a message on Facebook.com forward slash LA News, she got 14 months of rent. It's a different viewer than the viewer who got 14 months of rent days earlier, and a different viewer that got 12 months of utilities days earlier than that. What's at issue? These incredible worksheets. In that second page, we have a table. And tonight, I got more to say about this table. The table, when I created it about, what was it, about two months ago, three months ago, it has about 20 rows in there. You may probably want to print out this individual page twice, because tonight we have a lot of checks for you to keep track of. Let's go over the details. Check A is one check. Check B, you're going to meet in a second. It can be upwards of 80 to 100 checks. So there's clearly not 80 rows of checks to keep track of here in this table. Then check C you're going to have 12 places to reach out to. You have four utility bills a month, and maybe you have rent. That's five checks per month. Five times 12, that's one month. Most viewers are getting 14 months lately. So, yeah, you're not going to have enough rows on this table. You may want to print out this page a couple times. And now we have the seven new checks on top of that. So there's a lot of checks to keep track of. Spelly, the day, the week before those three success stories, 14, 14, 12 months, got check A and check C, and then the week before that was the wonderful view out of Florida. She had used the table, but uh, the the page, the second page of the worksheet, but forgot to take to forgot she had it. And then she got that message from the state of Florida, "Ma'am, you've been approved for mortgage assistance." Wow, one month? No, fourteen months of re- of mortgage assistance. But she also forgot that she had applied for all her utilities until she looked back at her notes on her worksheet. That's why I used the worksheet. And so let's say she had four utilities plus mortgage. That's five checks per month, five times 18 months. Wow, that is 80 to 100 checks. And that's not a unique story. It's happening all the time. That's why you want to use the worksheet, but you want to treat track of all the checks you're applying for, your name and contact, the individual you spoke to, their extension. And when you get proof of checks, you're going to go back and get more checks, different months. Let's say you got a proof for January to March. You're going to go back and get more months now than we're in the summer. you got to keep track of it. And that's why those worksheets help you so much. The next page is the benefit raises. The seniors believe that your benefits are going to go up 10.1% based upon that CPI print of 8.1% released last week. What am I looking at? I think that's conservative. I think it could go higher. It's betting on that everything is going to stay the same and that gasoline is going to stay where it is as well. If you believe gasoline is going to track higher in the fall months as refineries go offline because of hurricanes or tornadoes and increased demand, and if you believe some of the core items like milk and eggs and and utilities like electric and natural gas could go higher as we go into these fall months, then you may believe that the percentage raise for your benefits could be higher than 10.1% as I do as well. The next page is gasoline. What do we know the latest details tonight on gasoline? So, the price of gasoline at the pump is the lowest on this channel since March. Lower than when Putin invaded Ukraine. It's under 390. So it's fallen dramatically. The international price of Brent crude is falling dramatically as well. It was 98 last week. It's about 93 tonight. It's likely to keep on falling because the oil traders are trading it down based upon the belief of a recession and less demand to use the car. But ultimately, if you believe that refineries will go offline because of natural events like hurricanes and tornadoes, increase demand, reduce production because they're full capacity, then you may think it's track higher. And tonight, the student loan debt forgiveness. 
major breaking news. Broke on afternoons earlier today, and of course broke last night on the social media account of LA News. Insiders now report the president will not make a determination about the final chapter of student loan debt forgiveness before August 31st, and will leave it to the fall. The President of the United States has been telling insiders, according to Inside Reports featured on this channel for several months, that he's going to do $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness for individuals who make of $150,000 or less, but has not formally made that announcement for months. Why? He's been meeting with individual advocacy groups, including one today, and hearing, them out and hearing their input on the subject matter. He has given himself an August 31st deadline to make a determination or he can roll over the moratorium. What is a moratorium? Meaning you don't have to pay back the student loan debts currently, and he may likely roll it over. The inside reports tonight say he's going to roll over the moratorium, meaning you don't have to pay the student loan debts back until the fall, and that the announcement will come right before the midterm elections. The president has already forgiven student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, people who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation, and people who were defrauded by the universities. For more about that, you can always go to the Department of Education's website and pull down their news releases, press releases, from the Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks in every U.S. state. You deserve these checks. Huge checks in every U.S. state. And we're going to go over why the importance of these checks is very much at hand tonight. As we have a very, very confusing economy, with some companies beating on those earnings today and other companies missing. Then in the big second half, we're going to go over an important message, which is why you need to stay with this channel. The messaging is the Federal Reserve. The messaging is whether the Federal Reserve is going to do interest rate spikes progressively and consistently in those next few months and whether Wall Street has not embedded that risk into the market. Imagine if they've not embedded that risk into the market. What's going to happen with earnings recession? Oh, boy, we got a big second half. Plus, we'll be looking at the big issue for the housing and why the housing market is just the tip of the iceberg if you believe a recession's coming. All the latest details. Plus, we'll look forward to what's coming up tomorrow on this channel. It's a big second half, and we're just getting started. I'm excited you're here. Go out on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And stay the second half. We got a lot coming up with all those incredible checks, one at a time. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Evening's Highlight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of August 18, 2022. Hope you have a beautiful week. A lot of major details coming in on those earnings calls today. What if some companies beat and some companies miss? And what do we know about that and why it impacts your money? We'll have the latest details across the board. Plus, we'll be going over those seven new stimulus checks and the lifetime stimulus. The latest details on that. Plus, we'll be going over the recession 
and your economy, plus your benefit raises. Oh boy, we got a big second half. Did you become a member? I hope you did. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And with that, let's go over the latest details tonight on a big night of Eden's LA for the shores of Santa Monica, California. Your economy, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raises, and also your housing market and unemployment. The four stimulus coverage starts right now in the big second half of LA. How are you? Hope you have a beautiful night across the board. Back in the month of March, the viewers of this channel said, LA, can you find me some checks? And I did at the time. Those were check A, B, and C. The first three checks. Since then, last Sunday, we had seven new checks. So categories of checks, not check itself, but categories of checks. Now we're up to 10 categories of checks. Let's go over those first three categories of checks, A, B, and C. Three focuses at the time. I want to have big, broad eligibility, big amounts of checks, and easy to get them. Number one, big amounts of checks. About $100,000 by executive action, a series of different checks. Huge amount of money. I wanted to make sure you get it because it's a recession. As I first recorded, and I want you to have big sums of money to endure a potential two-year recession. Number two, broad eligibility. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it as well. And then, easy and breezy, a newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You go down, go get A, go get B, go get C, and now go get E through K. Let's go over the details of those first three checks starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 forced to check in every U.S. state. And this is the check that Spelly got. It's a huge, wonderful check, and you deserve these sums of money. Spelly got this incredible check, and you can as well. This incredible check is $6,500 to $12,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you are on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, go into this video, become a member. Step two, go down to the membership newsletter, you see check A. Click the link, send you into the newsletter, send you into the nationwide website. Choose your state and then go down to Weatherizing Grant and go get it. You're not done there yet, you're going to go get check B. Check B is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check, but you see viewers are getting a lot more than $8,000. You see that viewer out of Florida. She got eighty to one hundred dollars checks from check B, category B. How do you get check B? Step one, go into this video and join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then go down to where it says check B in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday. Click the link, go right in, uh, apply. And you're ready to rock and roll. That is $100,000 right there. Check B, $80,000. Check A, $12,000. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go get check C. This is a check that Spelly got. This is a viewer last Saturday got 14 months of rent. The other viewer got 14 months of rent. The other viewer got 12 months of utilities. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. How do you get it? Step one, join the channel. Step two, get that membership newsletter. Go down the membership newsletter to, see check, check, to where you see check C. At Check C, it's going to explain to you the six places you reach out to for nonprofits, the six government agencies you reach out to, the keywords you say, and you're going to focus with your utility bills and your rent bills. So let's say you have five bills per month, 12 places to reach out to. You're going to shoot for 12 months, 14 months, and there you go. And I'm so proud tonight of the viewers who take the education on this channel and run with it and make it better. When I was featuring Chexy on this channel a year ago, I would always say three to four months, three to four months. And then one viewer got 12 months. One of them was Lorraine. She got 12 months. I said, 12 months? And then another viewer got 12 months. Tonight, you see what's going on. Viewers are getting 14 months, 12 months, 18 months. And so viewers are taking what I taught them and make it bigger and bolder. That's what you can always do. Let's look at the success stories we've seen for Check C over the year. Again, this is the residue of third stimulus, and it's absolutely incredible. When you look at those Check C numbers, viewers have taken the education of this channel and made it bigger for them, and I want you to do that as well across the board. Check C for rent has delivered people anywhere upwards of $30,000 for rent in just short periods of time. Let's look at some of the success stories. From Elizabeth to Nisi, here you go. You want these numbers for rent? Go get check C. Utilities. Mark got 6,500. His brother-in-law got 15,000. Snap, that same brother-in-law got quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combination of checks. 
Nisi went from 23,000 to 50,000. Mark went from 32,000 to 166,000. Here's Mark at 50, then he went to 100, then he went to 166. Here's Lorraine. She was 105, then she went to 155. What do you need to know tonight? You need to do a series of things. Number one, go into the video and subscribe. Then go into the video, hit that bell, so you make sure you have all notifications set to all on. Last Sunday, when I had that breaking news report about the seven new checks, people jumped into the live chat because they had their notifications set to all on. You don't want to miss anything, because remember, you're a Purple Hawk. The expression Purple Hawk was created by me. They describe someone who pounces and gets money before someone else, because ultimately the money's not going to be around indefinitely. Number three, you go into this video, join the channel. Welcome to the hundreds of new members who joined this channel in the last 24 hours. You're watching Ally Light, the number three most watched financial news broadcasting channel in America, streaming online, with one channel expanding to three. Two new channels to join this family in the next few days, Ally Light 2 and Ally Light 3. The new site that started it all, no less than 20 years ago, at AllyLight.com. And the live show that everyone's talking about on this channel that airs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with the feed updated throughout the hour. Incredible family and incredible success stories become part of this family. And tonight we go on the other breaking news stories that you need to know. We start first with those retail sales numbers and the numbers that came in with Kohl's. What do we learn about that today? And what is the signal what's happening with this economy? What we learned today is that when this recession meanders through the economy, it's going to hit different parts of the economy in different ways. A Kohl's is different than an Austin Lauder. A Walmart is different than a Bowie. And an Apple is different than a mom-and-pop business. Here's what you need to know. It all stems back to what the Federal Reserve is doing. And if people don't understand what the Federal Reserve is doing, or give you false guidance on what they're doing, it could send you on the wrong track. Here's what's at issue. The Federal Reserve is a series of governors, and they meet once a month. The Federal Reserve does not like to surprise Americans. They don't like to surprise the markets. So the Federal Reserve for decades always gives you guidance ahead of time of what they're going to do. They tell you so that you're not surprised. What has the Federal Reserve been saying since last year? They need to get inflation down. When inflation came in higher than expected, they said they need to get down to 2%. In eight months, how much have they moved it? From 8.5 to 8. Not much of a move. Where do they want it? 2%. So they have a long way down. What was the last interest rate spike they had? 75 basis point. They meet once a month. They next meet in September. Here's what wrong Wall Street analysts are saying tonight. They're saying the Federal Reserve will ultimately pivot. What does pivot mean? It means that the Federal Reserve will do something different than what they're actually announcing. Excuse me? <laughs> so someone on Wall Street is telling you that the Federal Reserve is going to change what they actually say out of their own mouth. Uh, no. <laughs> the Federal Reserve tells you what they're going to do, and they do it. Someone else tells you the Federal Reserve is telling you an incorrect story? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not going to work. Let's go over the obvious. There's 8.5% inflation, 8% inflation. The Federal Reserve went to 2%. Well, they got to get down. So the Federal Reserve is not going to change what they're doing because it's not a 2% inflation. Hello, that's sort of obvious. The Federal Reserve last met in the month of July with a 75 basis point increase. So would the Federal Reserve do less than 75 basis point? No, of course not. Has the Federal Reserve actually said they would do less than 75? No. Has the Federal Reserve they would, said they were going to do 75? Yes. Michelle Bowman said. Wall Street. Wall Street said, no, the Federal Reserve is going, going to do 50 basis points. Uh, why? <laughs> they actually told you they're going to do 75 basis points. Do you see a narrative going on here? Do you see a story going on here? Yeah. Wall Street wants to take the Federal Reserve's own words and say they're going to do something different than they're actually telling you. No. What I'm asking you to do is when the Federal Reserve says they're going to do something, believe the Federal Reserve is going to do what they say they're going to do. Because historically, that's what they say they're going to do. So let's go over what Bowman, Daly, and Boulard, among the Federal Governors, have indicated what they're going to do. And the FOMC Minute notes released, yeah, last night. Details tonight on Enes LA. The comments are all the same. The Federal Reserve will get inflation down to 2%. It's at 8.5%, 8%. They have a long way to go. How long have they been trying this? Since January. They've been trying this for eight months. They have not really achieved much. They admit that. 
how long will they stay at this till they get it to 2%? They say they will stay at it until they get it to 2%. So they're not going to sort of give up halfway through. They made that very clear. Will they go stronger than 75 to get it to 2%? No, they actually don't address that subject matter. And I've never really detailed this channel to tonight. They never said we're not going to 100 basis point. They're just basically saying we're staying where we are at least right now until we get to 2%. Did they say we're not going to do something weaker than 75? Yes, they actually said that. We're not going to do something weaker. We're going to do what we're doing right now. This is so critically important for you. And let me tell you why. When you go to that supermarket checkout stand and you're about to buy your potato chips and your soda and you look to the left and the tabloid says UFO snapped my baby and gave birth on a reality TV show. <laughs> There's that paper, but then look to the next one. <laughs> look to the next paper. The next paper could say stock market is down 1,000 points. If the stock market crashed 1,000 points and that paper appears at the supermarket checkout stand, how many people who check out the supermarket checkout stand would understand that 1,000 points of the stock market down is not a good thing? 100%. Americans understand for many, many decades that a crash of the, uh, the crash of the stock market is not a good economic event. It impacts everything. Everyone understands that. Why would the stock market crash dramatically? Stock markets generally crash dramatically when they've not embedded risk into the market. What is a key risk that the stock market has not embedded into it tonight? Consecutive interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve. Consecutive interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve that are very austere that continue to 2023 that the Federal Reserve has actually been mentioning in comments over the last two weeks. Wall Street has not embedded that risk. And imagine if a massive implosion of the market happens, what it does to you. Whether you are employed or not employed, whether you have a son or daughter that works at a supermarket checkout or doesn't work out, it all impacts everyone across the board. Here's what you need to know. When economic times get worse, certain economies change and certain don't change. Apple's reporting by the end of this year it will sell as many iPhones as it did the last Christmas. Wow. So even in a downturning economy, Apple's going to have the consumer buy as many iPhones? Yes. But what about the bagel shop owner in your town who has bought the wheat and the yeast and the appliances and the furniture on credit, on debt? And when there's less people buying bagels, potentially in October or November, and their debt is going higher because the Federal Reserve is raising the interest rates, over and over again, do you think the bagel shop owner can survive this economy as much as an Apple corporation can? No. The small business owner is going to close the door, lay off the employee. And that is why it's important to understand that in a recession, some businesses survive and they actually do really well. And they continue to operate as much as normality and others don't. What's also important to understand is the recession manifests itself in different parts of the economy at different times. Housing often gets hit first in a recession. As tonight, we have the House Association of Home Builders saying, you're in a housing recession. In fact, any broadcaster that turns on the news tonight says, housing recession, housing recession. But when you look at other parts of the economy, they don't get hurt initially. Labor doesn't fall apart at the start of the recession. It gets hurt later. Why? Businesses look at their bottom line. They see there's less profitability. They got to cut costs. The way they cut costs is laying people off. That is why labor often falls apart later in a recession. So ultimately, what I want you to do is err on caution. I want you to listen to what the Federal Reserve says. And the Federal Reserve says they're going to do something. You have to believe it's what they're going to do. Because the Federal Reserve never gives you false statements. What they say is what they're going to do. Now, ultimately, it's a, it's a governing board. And ultimately, people have to vote. But if you hear enough people repeating the same narrative, and you hear the FOMC minutes and say, we're going to do this. you got to believe it's going to get done. And if a Wall Street analyst says, I don't think they're going to do it, ignore that Wall Street analyst. When you look at the bond traders, when you look at the oil traders, when you look at the guy on the set with the blue shirt and the purple orchids, what are we all saying? We're all saying a recession's on the way. The recession's on its way as indicated in the inversion curve of the 2 and 10-year note from the bond traders. The downward trading of oil 
licensed by the oil traders. And of course, on these recordings, it's important to err on caution. You err on caution by getting as much stimulus as you can. Number one, increase your savings. Number two, do not buy things on debt. Runaway debt, the highest debt being run up in nearly 15 years happening right now. Not necessarily on this channel, but elsewhere. You don't spend money on travel and leisure and concert tickets on debt. If you can't afford the debt because the debt's going to go higher. Ultimately, you have to err on caution. I want to applaud you. I want to applaud you tonight because you're doing a really well job. A great job over recent days. Viewers have been really laser focused on not only the stimulus, but also the details of the economy. People understand that they may have gotten three months of utilities from March to, to April. March, that's, that's one month. <laughs> three months from January to March. And now it's time to go get some more months of utilities. Viewers are very focused on the details of things like inflation. When we're gauging your, your raise of your benefits, they're looking at the price of the milk and the eggs in the supermarkets. They're looking at how many people are at the checkout stand. They're looking to gauge, is inflation much the same as last month? I think I can see this. Because ultimately, this determines how much my money I have in the bank, how much my benefits are, how much my benefits are going up, how much the value of my money is. You're learning to earn on this channel. You're doing a really great job. Keep on doing it. For every viewer in the live chat, whether it's a Lynn Glenn or a Diane or an Anne or a Bob or a Crayola or it's a Dragon or anyone or Shirley that jumps in the live chat and really listens and has a comment, something about a subsection of a number, you're really staying on point. You're listening to a subsection of the inflation. You're looking at a subsection of housing. You're looking at, at a part of the Federal Reserve's notes. You're looking at something that makes up the component of the story. Because ultimately, the story is not 8.5% inflation, CPI. It's the milk and eggs of the CPI. It's the rent of the CPI. It's the housing of the CPI. It is the gasoline component of the CPI. It's the stimulus. It is uh, the forced stimulus. It is, it is how many months of mortgage assistance you can get. You're really focused on the details and you're taking it and making it bigger and bolder every night. I'm so proud of you. Welcome to all the new members. If you've never found this channel, this is LA News. Getting bigger, getting more bolder, and getting more loving by the hour. Programming continues throughout the night. You're watching either LA Live or, or Evenings LA coming up tonight is Evening Countdown at 6 o'clock. Stream is almost at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock is extra, 9 o'clock is sunset, and the programming continues throughout the night before we're back on mornings L8 at 9 a.m. and early mornings L8 at 4 a.m. This week we'll be looking at the latest details that impact this lifetime stimulus. Basically, the more inflationary data, the inflationary data that we'll be tracking is the next CPI read, the next PPI read. And the personal consumption expenditure index, that's a big number that gives us guidance on that inflation and the raise of your benefits. Also a big factor that helps us engage in inflation is housing. Housing is a major part of the calculation. We'll be looking at the details across the board. When we look at the labor, we're looking at whether there's more layoffs on the corporate front and also, we'll be looking at those earnings numbers. When we saw those retail sales come in from Target, really bad yesterday, but actually good from Walmart the day before, and tonight, Kohl's going left and right, it's very, very problematic. Ultimately, this is how we prepare our family and our benefits. Ultimately, what could happen in the next 90 days? Could unemployment surge? Could Interest rates go higher? Could gas prices go higher? What about price of goods and recessionary winds and mortgage rates? What about the CPI and what about the SSI? Ultimately, my messaging is the same. You have to err on caution. For a while, I've been saying that September could potentially be a financial cliff. And September is just around the corner. A financial cliff is when people think that the great times are here to stay and they're not. And then suddenly they're surprised. When the situation changes, how do you prepare? Number one, get as much stimulus as you can. Number two, raise your savings, which means piling up as much money as you can, not running debt when you don't have it. And then removing adjustable rate debt, which is credit card debt and instruments like that. Ultimately, when you take these steps and when you prepare accordingly, when you listen to the recordings, when you know where the components are of this economy, you're in a better situation left and right. So much tonight and so much all this week long. I'm excited you're here. 
don't forget to become a member. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to get as much money as you can. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful evening. The programming continues throughout the night and always on this channel. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful evening. Stay informed, stay focused, stay positive, stay motivated, and as always, stay with Elite for more.